welcome back. It's your man Wise. Today, you guys are in for another treat. Someone in the comment section told me I must check out this brother here. G. Craig Lewis, he's real. Another based, very based pastor, preacher. I'm not sure what he considers himself. I'm not sure. But, oh man, he goes in. Before we get into the video, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. And without further ado, let's go. We are in the end time. This is what all of the sermons have been for. This is what all the preparation has been for. This is what all the praying has been for. This is what all the fasting has been for this time. Amen. I was driving up here this morning and I went under the underpass and some dudes with flags. Africa flags. I wanted to go up there and tell them, I'll send you. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you to the to, to Africa. I'll let you be with them. They know they ain't trying to go to Africa. They talk that talk, but that ain't real. Because if they were, they'd be gone already. No shirts on. Waving African flags. Yeah, and scared Caucasians just blowing and waving. <laughs> we have we have several. We have a lot of uh, Caucasian people. Don't you be scared. Don't you buy this stuff. You don't owe us nothing. You don't owe us nothing. We all sinners. We all are sinners. We all have sin and come short of the glory of God. And any man that think he does not have sin deceives himself. In God's eyes, we're all sinners that need to be saved. We all need forgiveness. We all need to be reborn, remade, renewed, recreated. Oh, some, there's some black folks in here that don't like that. Yeah, you, you, you weighing, weighing stuff on the scale, your scales of justice. You better let the Holy Ghost balance them scales. Because on those scales, we all deserve death. Mm. Out there marching in no restitution and repercussions and, and, and reparations. Pay your child support. <laughs> Let's catch that up. Yeah, repercussions and reparations and uh, don't forget repossessions. Pay your bills. Mm. How about that? That ain't got nothing to do with the white man. You could have been an alien in there getting that loan. He'd have still gave it to you. You could have been green. Speaking a whole other language. Ring, ding, boom, ding, ding, ding. Uh, just sign right here. Bro. I, I don't know what you just said, but this is how much it's going to cost. We're just not doing that in here. I'm, 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 you know, a lot of times I preach and say these kind of things to run folks off. Because I want you to know. Like, I uploaded some stuff yesterday. I don't ever upload on Saturday. I'm uploading Black Lives Matter because I want them off my page. Get away from me. Get, get gone. If you with the Black Lives Matter, get away from me. I am not with a lesbian witch movement. I ain't side with no witches. I ain't side with no lesbians. I ain't side with no George Soros. You ain't manipulate me. Get that junk away from me. Get off my page. Get off. Boy, I got the best moderators in the world, boy, because Amy and Jay Brown, they take joy and pleasure in blocking folks. Oh, yes. Block. Hand all the way back here. Uh. I mean, are we going to stand before God and make something worse? Like what somebody did to us worse than what we did? Do you think God is going to... Is God, would God even listen to that? But Lord, what they did, and God is like, 
But I've been blessing you. What does it have to do with you? I mean, but it's our color. All y'all the same color to God. God not judging folks about how close they live to the sun. And how much shade they had. Man, I'm preaching it. We need to just get going. Last week we had, what, 43, 40 some people in the overflow? Some of these folks. <laughs> Don't park here. No, you got to really want the truth of the word if you're going to be here. Amen. Don't waste space. Leaving here and got the black lives. No, you, you. Don't do that. Go be with them. It's not doing that in here because it's satanic. It's satanic to hold your brother in contempt when we all should be held in contempt. That's called unforgiveness. We don't practice that. We're all equal. We don't bring up 400 years. And you ain't suffered none of them. You crazy. Walk right out of here and get in a new Honda Accord. <clears throat> 400 years of oppression. Because you know what it does? <laughs> it just cuts the Holy Ghost out of the picture. You can't have any fruits of the Spirit if you're still mad about something you know nothing about. You can't. You can't operate in that. You can't operate in love if you're trying to get somebody back. How did they handle oppression in the Bible? They did what God said. Yeah, they waited on God to overthrow the leadership. Yeah, they didn't start a coup to go against the leader and destroy the leader. Remember when they did that to King Saul? As much foolishness as Saul did to David. Nobody deserved it worse than Saul. Saul was caught up in his feelings and a demon spirit. And he persecuted David all day, all night. Didn't even have a reason. That was before Bathsheba. He didn't even have a reason. Just going after him. Going hard after him. And God told him, no, don't touch him. Let me judge him. And people don't realize when he said that, that stirred up something in David to the point to where when they finally came and told him, hey, yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, Saul is dead and, you know, he was hanging there. I mean, he was laying there, so he told me to go on and kill him and I'm, I went ahead and just put him out of his middle. And David just went crazy and said, oh, no, off comes your head. Give me your head. Because you don't overthrow leadership. Yeah, you move. That's what you do. You move. So homeboy did that. He should have joined the Amalekite. He should have went and joined another organization. But get out of Israel because Israel had a leader. You don't overthrow leadership. You don't touch leadership. You let God handle leadership. Amen. But that's what's wrong with these folks. Little girl, four or five years old, disrespecting the president. Hand another mic. You're a bad leader. You go. Oh. Don't even know what she's talking about. Just poorly taught by her parents. Sad. Yeah, and then, then just going viral. That's cute. And if it wasn't for Trump, we wouldn't be sitting in here having church right now. <laughs> and the ones that hate him, they at home. They can't get back in their buildings because they think he's setting them up to catch the COVID. <laughs> they told me that. That's a true story. That's a true story, Elder. They told me that. No, man, don't you go in your church. It's a setup. Trump is setting all the black churches up. 
So if they go in their churches, they all going to catch COVID and die. So we ain't going in church. That's a true story. Your church. The church you're called to that God did he God called you, but you're not going in because and I'll even, I'll even say it like this, because the white man that you mad at said you can't go in. So either he has power or he doesn't. Y'all confusing me. I like Trump. Now, I ain't, I ain't telling you to vote for him. I didn't even vote for him. I just like the way he rolled, because he real. He don't care. He ain't thinking about you. He ain't thinking about you. He know he already won. He knows he's back in. He's back in. He's back. Get ready. Because everybody that's mad and upset and going crazy, their votes don't count for nothing. You ain't learned that? Them same folks that's, oh, sorry about your struggle. I'm sorry. When they get in that booth, Trump. <laughs> I know I'm preaching. I'm preaching in the house. Folks don't like it this real, Elder. They don't like it this real. Oh, oh. We did you so wrong. Oh. It's a shame what was done to you. Trump. <laughs> this brother is based, but I do appreciate the message. I haven't had a chance to listen to a full sermon of his. I am going to here in the very, very near future. I just, I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy. I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot of other folks content, to be honest with you, because I'm so busy producing for you guys. But man. He hit the nail on the head. You got Christians out here talking about their standing with Black Lives Matter, a group that is against the word of God, a group that the Marxist organization funded almost 100 percent by George Soros. And we know that George Soros is borderline the Antichrist. Think about and look at what's going on. Everybody that that man has funded, one is going after Donald Trump. But two, they're in cities where they're passing policies and implementing laws that is basically tearing down the fabric of the city from the inside out. It is a mess right now in America, in these cities that are led, funded by George Soros handpicked puppets. It's ridiculous. And I'm glad to see that you have brothers like G. Craig Lewis based enough, willing to stand on their square and call a spade a spade and speak the truth. When he was talking about that little girl, it was the most despicable thing that I seen. Even if you don't like President Donald Trump, one, he's still the president, so you respect the office. Two, he's definitely an elder, so you respect him just for being an elder. That little girl's parents should be ashamed of themselves. But the Democrat Party, liberals, they have no shame. So I guess you, I guess we should expect it. Let me know what you guys think of G. Craig Lewis. Let me know what you guys think of him. I thought this was phenomenal. He said he didn't even vote for Trump the first time around. I would assume that he voted for him the second time around, but I don't want to put words in his mouth. But he can appreciate him, one, because he allowed the churches to stay open back then during the shutdown. But the other thing, too, he just did so much for the black community. There were so many benefits. There were so many ways that the black community benefited from the Trump administration or that it's just too difficult to ignore. Wake up, people. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Keep God first in your life. America first. And I'm going to catch up with you all next time.